What's up, everyone? Snowy Mantar here, and welcome back. <gasps> you freaking bricks! To another video on the channel. And in today's video, I wanted to talk about collaboration skins because we have so many of them within the game. But I wanted to point out the bad ones out of the bunch. The worst of the worst, I'd like to say. So I decided to make this top five list going over the worst collaboration skins in Fortnite. I'm talking about movies, TV show skins, video game skins, comic book skins. Hell, I'm even counting icon series in this. Now before this video starts, I just wanted to get this out of the way by saying this is all my personal opinion. And I would also love to see your guys' own personal list link in, in, you know, just put down below in the description. I don't care if it's like all of them, two, five, zero. I would love to see them. But anyways, let's just hop right into the list. All right, so coming at the number five spot is going to go to the cat woman comic book outfit now before i talk about the skin itself that name like catwoman comic book outfit like what the hell like what kind of name is that shit for for a catwoman skin like come on man now i know that they did this with a few skins before you know before they actually started calling them by their actual names and the, the good examples are the two batman skins that we have and also the two avengers endgame collaboration skins let's talk about the skin here it sucks <laughs> shockingly i bought this when it first came out and i have no idea why i like how the skin looks but why couldn't it be your own desired character model you know what i mean it just doesn't make any sense to me at all plus that edit style like who actually likes that edit style that freaking goggle edit style or the glasses one whatever it is her back bling's okay but the skin was definitely not worth picking up when the Batman bundle was a way better deal than this kitty cat cosplayer. Now, coming at the number four spot, I was actually going to go to the worst icon series skin in the game. And I'm pretty sure you all know who this is, and that is Major Lazer. Now, when you compare this skin to basically all the other icon series skins like Lachlan, the Gref G, Travis Scott, hell, even Marshmallow. This skin, hands down, is just so terrible. But the reason why he's not higher is because the rest of his set is actually really good. His emote's really popular, he has a really good backlink, his harvesting tool is really cool. And also, he has two music tracks based off of the default, default emote. The skin itself, man, it has a built-in emote which sucks ass, and just the skin is so ugly. The skin had so much more potential than what it had, but it was just a huge flop. Just the skin is a flop, but everything else is fine with the skin. But coming at the number three spot is going to be Black Manta. One of the only collaboration skins from Chapter 2 Season 3. This skin is probably one of the more forgettable ones, I would say. I no, I, I did not see anybody buying this skin when he first came out. And he was in the shop for over, I believe over 10 days, or I think it was 10 days. But let, let me ask you something here. Why in the world would you buy this skin, okay? His bad bling's cool. He has a cool black and red color scheme. But that's basically it. You know what I mean? This skin was just so poorly done. He has a huge helmet to not... To, like... It's, it's just so bulky. The skin is very bulky. And he didn't have any edit styles to actually compensate for that helmet. Why... Again, just why would you buy this? It's just a collab skin that... I think in my personal opinion didn't work out and he comes in at number three number two this is going to trigger people when I say this and well fuck it green arrow now hold on hold on hear me out for why I said this main reason why he is at the number two spot is because he was part of the Fortnite crew this was the January pack which came off of Galaxia now, can someone tell me, how does it go from Galaxia, which is a really good skin and a great start to the Fortnite crew, by the way, to this? A basic-ass DC skin, which offers less and isn't original in the slightest. Now, I know people would say that Galaxia isn't original, but I would say it's more original than this skin. Colors are shit. The back wing and the harvesting tool are the only good things about, about this, from this collab within the Fortnite crew. But the skin was just so basic and it kind of falls into yet another bad DC skin. Okay, so before I go into the number one spot, I have a few dishonorable mentions to, 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 to say here. 
So I wanted to just speed through them. <sighs> Here we go. Taskmaster. Not the best Marvel skin, but he's fine, I guess. Black Widow, the winter suit, Black Widow. Backblink sucks, but a good attempt of updating the first version of it. Also, speaking of which, the Black Widow outfit and Star Lord outfit. Balls are underneath the same boat as the Catwoman skin for when it comes to the name, but the skins are, are way better than, than her, I can tell you that. Sophia. Why would you buy this over John Wick? But she's still a good skin. I do like the skin, though. The Jordan collab skins. Good deal for how much they cost, but not the greatest of skins in general. Finally, Marshmallow. The reason why I put him here is because he's just not worth 1,500 V-Bucks, but I still think that he is a good skin, okay? He's still a good skin. Okay, here we are. Number one. All these skins which I have set on the list, to me, are not terrible skins. They're at the bottom of the barrel because they're just collab skins, which just didn't really work for me, you know, which were the last four. But those skins don't even come close to how bad of a collab skin, of a, how bad a collab skin could be. And that skin is Aquaman. This is the worst collaboration skin in the game because this skin was done dirty. Like, the only reason why he was a secret skin of, oh, sorry, secret skin of Chapter 2 Season 3 was because Deadpool was a huge success. And the Deadpool collab was also a, was huge. Like, even though he stayed in the game for longer than people wanted him to, wanted the collab to go on for, you know? But when people found out that we were getting Aquaman as a collaboration during Season 3, people got hyped. So when the day came, oh boy, we were all excited. What did we get? We got three tridents on the map to get the skin. And Black Manta in the item shop. And that's it. Yeah, that's pretty underwhelming. Especially coming after the Deadpool hype train, which he had the yacht taken over. He had more skins and shit than, ev than he ever had. And I'm freaking Aquaman ever had in that fucking goddamn shop. Just, it was so bad. And just so underwhelming. Like, the skin had barely anything at all. And the collab was probably the most forgettable Battle Pass collab in all of Fortnite. And obviously... The skins are, like, the skin is god-awful, by the way, because literally every other skin skin in the past is better than this piece of shit. I'm not kidding. But just to end off this last segment, this skin is one of the worst, if not the worst, secret skin in Fortnite by how the skin was executed, done dirty by Epic, and is overall a terrible collab skin, and that's why he's at number one. So before I wrap up this video, I wanted to let you all know this, that I don't hate DC skins. I generally don't. I think it's really cool that they are in the game, but I will say a lot of them are just not the best looking things in the game. You know what I mean? That's why there are so many of them on this list. I should know four of them are actually were DC skins. But with all that being said, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you did, please consider subscribing to my channel if you want to see more content like this. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any more videos. And also, don't forget to drop a like in the video if you enjoyed the video. And also, don't forget to use anyone's supporter care code within the Fortnite item shop. Except for clickbaiters. They can go die. Peace out, everyone.